Hello, Lola's. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Hey okay, guys, so guess what? I am back with another video. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that you are a subscriber, correct? So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button now. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Yes, you want all reminders, community tab, videos, yes. So then the next thing I need you to do is make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And when you get done watching it, share it. So there's a couple more things you need to do and then we'll be done. Okay. All right, guys. So there's a couple more things you can do to support this channel is you can join the Chatterbox. The Chatterbox is a paid channel membership. It is $1.99 per month. Um, so that's what, like a Snicker bar, a bag of chips, and maybe, maybe you can split a soda with somebody. I don't know. But anyway, $1.99, you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. And what else, guys? Oh, yeah. I did update my merch. So I do have merch with my name all over it. Miss Irene. Um, but no, I actually, um, <laughs> one of my dollars is, um, contacted me to, for a specific item. And so I went ahead and updated the merch, um, for them. So anyway, that's that. But today I'm going to do a blanket reveal, I guess, of my Louisa. So guys, let me go ahead and say it. Cause I don't want to be like, tricking y'all or anything like that so louisa is the louisa sculpt by lillian breville sculpted by L lillian breville poured and molded by claire teller dolls and i of course already have taken her out um so here's the scenario <laughs> so i want to talk about two things really quick one thing is someone asked me on my instagram how is how did I get a fin? Because they were looking for the fin by Lillian Breville, but it's showing sold out, but she keeps seeing them popping up everywhere. Well, the reason why sometimes you probably see a lot of Lillian kits show up like way after the fact. I've seen like pucks showing up, you know, 20 years later. <laughs> no, not 20 years later, but you know what I mean? Because she gives such a long layaway. She does up to like 12 months, I think, layaway. So Think about it. Somebody get a baby, put it on layaway for 12 months, then they gotta send it off to get painted. You're looking at maybe another whole year and a half and you see the sculpt where it's been well sold out. So that is most likely what's going on because the two fins that I have um, here, both were custom orders from customers and they had them on layaway and then they had them shipped directly to me. Um, and so I have one for my customer, but the other one is actually going to be mine because the customer and my customer ended up getting another baby from me. And so, and I kept the fin. So that's how I ended up with my fin, which is so funny because I had both Finn and Louisa that I was buying directly from Lillian. And then I sold them before I actually got them. Um, and then I, so I got the fin from my one customer and then I ended up getting the Louisa again, um, second market as well. So, and I usually don't do much of second market, but you know, occasionally, you know how I go. So I am excited and I'm very excited since I opened her up. So I'm going to share her with you guys and then I'm going to tell you guys what I like about her, you know. I'm just going to give a little review of Louisa. And I believe Louisa is 19 inches long, but I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I looked at the specs on her. I'm not going to go through all the, the, the blah, blah, blah. See, her got a little hand, a little fist, and an open hand. And this kit is so sold out, so I'm sure there's no one sitting waiting on there. So it's not like, oh, you know. Um, so I did put her on a diaper because of, you know, everything with YouTube. So I wanted to make sure she had on a diaper. So anyway, she is the soft, 
silicone, of course, poured in one piece, um, which I think pretty much everybody is doing now. Um, so she is like a newborn size and she's a sleeper. Oh, I'm like, what is this? I usually don't put diapers or anything on them or do any of this, but she's going to get a good bath. Um, and I know in person she might look, I mean, on camera she looked it a little bit more to me like she was kind of frowning a little bit, but in person not so much. Like, I love her so much. Like, oh my God, and the silicone feels so nice, guys. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. I think it's because, maybe because she's like, you see her little legs are more petite. Like, I think it makes her a little bit more soft because she's a smaller baby than the other ones. And she just, oh my God, she like feels so good. Her silicone, like... <laughs> Let me let me just tell y'all. Y'all know I'm extra, right? So I'm just gonna give y'all the whole true experience. So picture this, Sicily, 1922. I'm picking up the box, and so I'm like holding the box, and I can kind of feel like the silicone feel like it's moving in the box. So I'm like, ooh, this baby feeling ass in the box. So I was talking to my friend, and she was like, girl, what? <laughs> Like, you can't be feeling no silicone through the box. You so extra. I was like, no, for real. Like, she it was like, she was feeling like kind of liquidy and stuff. You know? Like, she, you know, she ain't memory phone or nothing like that. But she was like feeling kind of liquidy. Hey, So I was like, okay. So I couldn't wait. When I got, so when I was getting her out of the box, so I'm going to pull it out. I was like, oh. soon as I pull it, I was like, oh. Like, listen, baby, my whole ovaries just went boom, exploded all over the place, just like that. So, um, sorry for being so graphic, but that's just what happened, right? So, I was like, oh my gosh, like, for real, like, oh my gosh. So, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, this one baby that made me want to just play with her before she even get painted, and I know that's a no-no. And so, it is her hair. So let me show y'all her ears. Her ears is her ears. <laughs> it's so nice. I love her ears. She now see now she getting little fuzzies on her from the hat. But um, so she got a little nice shape, little ears. Look at them, they floppy and good and soft and detail. She don't got no deep uh root canal. <laughs> Okay, I know ear canal. I did that on when I did Zoe. <laughs> but Claire tell I accidentally called it a root canal. But it's not deep, but it's deep enough to where it looks realistic. Her mouth is like not super super deep, but it's deep enough to where she could take a for a posse. I got these little passes right here. Little purses. And um I'm glad I got these because they fit like it fit like perfect in her mouth so sh that's like gonna be perfect her little pacifier is like this so i know these brand and the other brands that i got they got the little um nipples on it it's gonna work really good so that hand is closed she got this little tiny fist child when i say it's a little fist it's leah i mean it's appropriate for her size but her little hand this little hand right here ooh, this little hand is so cool Oh my gosh, like, I'm going to have to take, like, 20 years to paint this one. Because, oh, I just want her to be so perfect. Like, I just want her to be so perfect. I'm going to just really have to pray over her when I paint her. Because, oh, yes, God. She is going to be so gorgeous. I I hope, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to try. But, um, her little hands is just so dainty. Like, I just like that. And the armatures just feel so nice. Like, that's what I do really love, Claire Armatures, because they are, like, oh, my gosh. Like, you can't feel them unless you really, really feel in there. But they just soft. They just move so nice. You don't have to be like, uh, 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 like that. It's her little tummy. Look at the little tummy. so soft. Oh, my goodness. So, she got a little bit of an Audi kind of like. Oh, my God. The silicone is so smooth. <sighs> this is so nice and this one Lillian um normally like sculpts pretty deep but this one not sculpted so deep actually so it's really so it's really nice so she's gonna be really nice to paint so let me show y'all 
And then her little feet, I just love the way the silicone feel. Like, I literally want to just play with her, like, for real. Her little feet, look at her little feet. Look at that little feet. Oh, my goodness. They so cruel. Oh, my goodness. Like, she got little, little feet. Like, I mean, it, like I said, everything go together. She just really look newborn -y. Now, I can't take off her diaper, but I will tell you, as some of my past babies, her little girl be is, is more realistic than some. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, um, look at her got little calves. Girl, you better be working out. <laughs> and, um, so she don't really have, like I said, she don't have all that extraness going on with her. So the painting should be such a dream. She gonna be a dream to paint. Look at these little separate toes. Oh my God, I want to just, oh, I can't wait till I can get to paint her. Um, but yeah, so she, that's, that's her guys. And I'm just really excited. She can, she actually is newborn size. I put her on a preemie diaper, but she, you know, newborns, they be kind of petite in the, um, look at this, look at, look at this girl. Look at y'all. Oh my God, this silicone is so nice. So. Look at her little, see? Look, look, look. You better flex. You better flex for the camera. Flex for the camera. Flex for the camera. Oh, yes, honey. I'm so excited. So, this is, oh, this is my little snookaloka. So, I am expecting, um, uh, another full body to come in probably next week. I'll do a box opening of that one. I'm going to actually do the box open. I'm going to film that because that's one that I've, like, I don't know. I just, I've never had one poured by this person or nothing. So, that way y'all can experience it with me. Um, I'm I'm used to clear silicone, clear tele, um silicone. So, um, I just went on and opened it. But this, the other one will be my first time actually feeling the silicone. So, I don't usually do that, the whole squeezing thing and stuff. But... For whatever reason, I just want to, like, keep touching her. And I don't know where this long piece of hair coming from. Because, baby, who ain't got no hair is me. Not this long and straight. Okay. So, um, yeah, little cute little nose. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. So, listen. So, it's a lot of talk going on. And I may have to do this in another video. But I'm going to just touch on it just briefly right here. I'm going to just hit the surface for y'all. But it's a lot of talk now in the community where they're talking about, like, you know, people having a fetish for painting, like, biracial babies or light-skinned babies and not enough chocolate babies out there and stuff. And I don't know if it's more pertaining to as far as just, I think in general, that's what they're talking about. But I'm definitely thinking it's more with even the reborns. And, you know, my thing is to each his own. Um, it's not that I have a fetish. And I know it wasn't specifically to me, but I'm just putting it out there so y'all know. Some people, it may not be a fetish for them. Maybe it's what is familiar to them because we can't help what color, you know, we're born or what our children are born to. And, you know, I think, you know, it kind of falls into colorism. And I really don't like that because I don't want to be shamed for enjoying painting biracial babies or light skinned babies just as much as nobody don't want to be shamed for painting dark skinned babies or white babies or whatever the case may be because you know everybody have their own family and their own what they're used to and so or some people just have their own set of skills too you know some people just can't oh look at the inside of these this hand the inside of the hands the details is lovely let me see if i can zoom in for y'all let me show you. It is so nice. I'll do maybe a better uh, detail when she get painted. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I just you know that's just one of the things because I'm just putting it out there. Cause let me tell you, honey, what she finna be is probably um a light skinned baby or yeah. And a lot of times we call it like we'll say biracial. A lot of people say biracial. But really, in all essence, try look at me trying to use words. Uh, 
the truth is that a lot of times what people call biracial is not even biracial first of all <laughs> um it's usually just a regular black baby because our most babies are not born brown when they're first born but however there are some that are sometimes you know within a couple days baby them that skin tone start catching up with them ears and they start getting into their color which you know you be waiting for them to get to their they regular color and stuff like that and you be so excited and da 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 to see what they're gonna look like but most you know most black babies are born fairly light so but a lot of times i see babies that are actually like a pecan tan color and people be talking about oh this is biracial well what is mixed with light skin and dark skin <laughs> anyway that's enough on that but i'm just saying um y'all please don't don't come for me um with my my little light skin babies because i got five churn okay i got five churn and three of them is different shades of vanilla and then i got one chocolate one and one pecan tan one like me and so even though this video making me look a little nice and chocolate that color look rich well maybe that is really my color but anyway so yeah so so i paint what's familiar and that's what i like but you know kick me out of the whole black race go ahead why don't you because i don't paint dark skin babies regularly y'all i'm leaving y'all room for that y'all should be glad then that make y'all babies make be more valuable girl y'all better stop talking y'all stuff out of y'all coins y'all can capitalize on that market because i'm gonna stay right where i'm comfortable but um anyway so yeah so she's four to one piece and she got a little armatures and say yeah and say her got her little drinking wet so her gonna say i'm gonna be a little pisser <laughs> <laughs> okay bad word her gonna be a little wet he didn't get a pee pee did i get a pee pee mama i get a pee pee yes you do yes you do let me see your lips i didn't look at your lips mm -hmm. you got them wool whips her lips you got the whips her whips kind of like she doing something with her mouth but the bottom look got a little bit of thickness to it so we'll see how it all work out for me oh i don't know i'm nervous but i'm ready so that's my little sleeper baby well at least one thing about it i can root some eyelashes child on them sleepers so i don't know about them awake babies so i be squirreling but um yeah all right mama all right, guys, let me put it in our baby pose. Y'all know y'all got to get this pose, whether she blank with no color or not, child. Flex for the camera. Flex for the camera. You said you will always be mine. Yes, baby. Sing it, honey. You said you promised you would love me for a lifetime. Yes, honey. Tell them, honey. Tell them how you feel. I feel like somebody is gonna make me famous. Yes. Oh, I love her. All right, guys. That's it. This little, um, I don't know why I'm even bothered. She's gonna have to get a whole bath anyway. Um, so yeah, that is my little Louisa. And I'm, I don't know what her name going to be. Lord, I got to think of her. Oh, my God. I got to think of a name. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my gosh, guys. What are we going to name this baby? Like, y'all going to have to help me. Just picture her. Um, she, I want to do her very newborning. So, oh, my gosh. What am I going to name her? Oh, my gosh. We got to name her. Okay, I got to go. This video is way too long. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.